Hello friends, welcome to Hello English. My name is Rupam and I welcome you all to my channel. In today's video, we will discuss how to improve your English. There are a few things which you need to keep in mind. This video is all about how to improve your English speaking. How to start speaking in English. I will share with you few practices which you can do to improve your English. And at the end, I will share with you one conversation between two friends. You can practice that conversation and understand how you can talk to people. So let's begin. Yes, before I start, a small request. If you like this video, please do subscribe. So first thing is that, now I am talking to you. What is happening? My English is improving. So this is an idea how to improve your English. It is only when you speak. When you practice, your English will improve. Suppose you meet someone. Maybe you don't know him or you don't know her. In the bus stop or you went to get some fruits or vegetables. You met some strange stranger. You can talk to them. You can ask them about what's the time now in English or anything. Just start a conversation because conversation is such a thing which will improve your English. Conversation will build your confidence. Conversation will take away the fear from inside you. You sometimes fear that I will not talk what people will think. This conversation will take away that fear. So it is very important to talk, to have a conversation. Now when you do conversation, the mistake which you make, a very important thing, the first mistake which you make is, when someone asks you, what is your name? 99% of the people, they will reply, myself, Roshan, myself, Tina, Myself, Arindam. Myself, 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 everywhere. But myself doesn't come with your name. Myself itself is wrong. So when you go for an interview, when you attend some presentation, if you say at the beginning, myself, your name, you kill the situation. You fail there. You end your impression there. Because myself itself is wrong with your name. You cannot use myself with your name. Yes, you can say, my name is this, my name is Tina, my name is Rohan, but not myself. Or you can also say, I am, I am John, I am Ravi, I am Abdullah. This is correct. So from today, Practice this thing to start conversation. Remember, conversation itself is a skill. And what is a skill? Skill is something which can be developed with practice. And you can also forget. Skill is such a thing, if you don't practice, you will forget. So practice is must. There are different types of skills like soft skill, communication skill, English speaking skill, so understood my dear friend, whenever you have a conversation, the first thing you need to keep in mind is that myself you should not say. You should always say my name is this or I am this. The second mistake which we make whenever we meet someone, we use the word pursuing. The first thing is that when we talk to someone, we will ask what's your name? Second question automatically we ask, what you do? 99, not even 99, 100% or a possibility is that people will say, I am pursuing MBA. I am pursuing B, B Tech. I am pursuing medical. I also used to say the same thing before I understood the meaning of pursuing. Pursuing means to run after. Are you running after any degree? No. We are not running after any degree. So why we should use pursuing? It's wrong. 
right? So from the next time, whenever someone asks you, what are you doing? I am doing B.Tech. I just completed my B.Tech. I just completed B.Sc. in Computer Science. So understood, my dear friends? Pursuing. Just stop it. Don't use the word pursuing. So what are the two things we learned when we have to communicate with people? First thing, no more saying myself, Rupam. Second thing, I'm pursuing Bachelor of Commerce. No. I'm studying Commerce. I'm studying German. Okay? So next time, whenever you have a discussion with people, whenever you come across someone who is asking you something, you say, I am studying or I just completed. And if anyone is making mistake, if anyone is using the word pursuing, you correct them. When you correct them, he or she will correct some other people. In this way, it will become a chain. Many people will come to know that pursuing doesn't go with studying. And yes, when you teach someone, that teaching will stay with you for a long period of time. Remember, when you teach someone something, it helps you also. You will not forget. The final one. What do you want to do? I want to do a job. No, this is not correct. I want to do a job. It means that you are doing something for a small period of time. Now I'm making video for you. I'm spending one hour, two hours in making the video, editing the video, uploading the video. And what one point of time, after three or four hours, my job will be done. So here I can say, I'm doing a job. Or if I go for some presentation, I will be giving the presentation and after some time, I'll be back home. So I'm doing a job. Now as a teacher, I go to school every day. In this type of situation, I will not say I am doing a job because I go to my school every day. That is where I work. So what is the correct way to say here? I have to say I am working in a school as a teacher. It is because it doesn't get over within a short period of time. It's my regular duty. I have to go to school regularly. So I am working. So anyone saying I want to do a job in the school or I want to do a job in the corporate world, that is not correct. You have to make them aware that this is not the correct statement. Rather, they can say I want to work as a teacher in a school. I want to work in the IT industry. So whenever you have a conversation with someone, keep these things in your mind. It is very important that you talk properly so that when your English is correct, you can correct others also. Now, I will share with you one small conversation between two strangers. When they meet for the first time, how they will talk, what they will discuss. What you will do here is that you need to read it out loud. So how to do this? I will show you. So here is the conversation between two persons introducing each other. They are strangers, by the way. Okay. So what you will do here is that person number one, read it loud, the first one. Second one, if you have a friend, he or she can read the second person. If you are alone, first you read the first person and then you read the second person. How to do this? The first person says, hi there. I don't think we have met before. I am Sarah. Second person. Nice to meet you, Sarah. I am Alex. So what brings you here today? Sarah. Well, I am here for a business conference. I work in marketing for a tech company and we are exploring some new strategies. How about you? So this way the conversation goes on.
So understood my dear friend? So the basic thing to learn English is you need to talk. You need to have a conversation with others. I hope you learn a lot of things from this lesson. If you have any question, you can ask me. Till the next video, thank you so much.